The market hit all-time highs on Thursday, breaching the 570 level that we've been talking about all week. On Friday, we saw a little bit of a pullback right out of this dealer cluster zone. This is our identified area where dealer selling pressure kicks in. And so we saw a little bit of that action on Friday with the market selling off just a little bit. Two of the levels that we are watching for next week is this 575 level and the 580 level. These are the next two major strikes that we're watching heading into next week. Friday was the big options expiration. And so we'll see if there's any kind of shift in the options market next week. And what I'll be watching for specifically is volume coming in here above the 570 level, between 570 and 580. These blue bars here on the right side are option contract volume and the purple bars are gamma exposure. And so if that volume comes in Monday, Tuesday at these higher levels, I think there's a good chance scam exposure is going to increase and we can see a continuation of the uptrend. If that doesn't happen, I think there's a high likelihood that this dealer selling pressure will continue taking us down into the 560, 555 level as a first stop. Let's take a look here at the queues at our gamma exposure levels. You can see we just hit all time highs on the queues on Thursday. Also had a little bit of a retracement on Friday. It took tech a little bit longer to kind of catch up with the rest of the market last week, finally uh, reaching all-time highs again. The next two levels I'm looking at on the queues are 485 and 490. Those are going to be to the upside. Again, we're not taking any trades until we see that volume coming in at the 485 and 490 strike, whether that's Monday or Tuesday. At this point, the queues, along with the rest of the market, are back in positive gamma exposure territory. We could see a dip early in the week, potentially below this 480 level. That 480 level is the largest gamma exposure concentration on the negative side. So it is possible we could see a little bit of a dip uh, down below that 480 level before rebounding. That would be our base case scenario that buyers would step back in and buy that dip. Another key indicator that I'm looking for is semiconductors. I'm watching the SMH, which is the semiconductor ETF. As you can see, the semis have not participated in the rally, still in a big downtrend. If this downtrend breaks, if we jump back into positive gamma exposure territory, which as of right now is going to be above the 245 level, somewhere in here, you can see the first positive gamma exposure level is the 250 strike. So we get back up to the 250 strike. That means semiconductors are back in positive gamma exposure territory. This would be a huge boost to the semis like NVIDIA, Broadcom, and that's gonna be a huge boost to tech in general and then to the market as well. So you can see the difference between these charts, the Qs and the S&P 500, basically at all time highs, the semis have yet to participate, but if they do start coming back into positive gamma exposure territory, that's gonna be a huge boost to the market and we are going to be on an all time high train probably for the coming months. So that's a key factor that we're watching. We're not there yet, but next week could be uh, very telling at these levels. So we really want to watch that 240 to 245 level uh, right in here on the SMH. Next, I want to take a look at silver, SLV, the silver ETF. We've been talking a lot about GLD. We've had a number of profitable trades on GLD. Uh, SLV also coming into the mix. One of the things I noticed is this large gamma exposure concentration at the 30 strike. SLV is way above the zero gamma level, which signifies that dealers are buying dips and selling rips. And I think in a name like SLV, as well as GLD, these act a little bit different than the regular market indices or, or index ETFs. And so when it comes to gamma exposure, these are actually market participants probably buying dips uh, in positive gamma exposure territory. So, you know, this is something we've got uh, on our radar for the October options expiration, the 30 strike. Looks like a great risk reward play for a continuation into this 30 level. Next, let's look at Tesla. Tesla finally coming out of this negative gamma exposure zone here below the 220 level, uh, breaking out the last week or so uh, into the 240 strike we see a ton of volume came in here uh, on Friday, large gamma exposure concentration at the 250 strike. And so we think any dip back down towards the 230 to 235 range 
uh, would look like a great risk reward entry back up for a continuation back into that 250 strike. So that seems like a pretty decent risk reward type of play that we're going to be looking at this week as well. By the way, check out our community discord if you're interested in continuing the analysis during the trading session Monday through Friday each trading day. I'll put a link down in the description below. Let's just take a look at the S&P 500 heat map as of Friday. You can see overall quite a bit of negative moves in the market. Uh, mega cap tech was was a laggard. And we basically saw non-durables and utilities were really the best performing sectors. So a little bit of softness in the market on Friday, not unexpected after the huge September that we've had. If we just take a step back and we look at the performance over the last week, we can see mega cap tech and the financials uh, all leading the way, the strongest movers, biggest contributors to the market performance. And I think it's super important to understand where the performance is coming from. What sectors? Is it mega cap tech? Is it financials? Is it utilities and non-durables? Where is the performance on a daily basis and a weekly basis, even a monthly basis coming from in the market? So super important. Uh, to know where it's coming from because it's basically going to tell you is the market poised for explosive moves to the upside or is it going to be kind of a slow and steady upward move. Switching gears, we're taking a look at the CME Group's Fed Watch Tool. We just had the FOMC announcement, a 50 basis point rate cut last Wednesday. Target rate probabilities for the November meeting. Remember, there is no FOMC meeting in October, so we got to wait all the way until November 7th. But currently, target rate probabilities are 62.2% for a 25 basis point rate cut, 37.8% for another 50 basis point rate cut. And that's actually pretty surprising. I wasn't expecting it to be uh, quite such a large percentage uh, so early on. So we'll see how that develops over the coming weeks. Definitely something to pay attention to because that's going to have ripple effects on whether or not this market rally is going to continue. By the way, if you guys want access to our gamma exposure and option flow data, head over to geeksoffinance.com. We've got two different membership tiers. We also have our Geek University course, which is included in all memberships. It's a five-hour option strategy, gamma exposure, and our overall trading strategy approach. Link in the description below. Also, don't forget, you can join our community Discord for free. There's a link in the description below for that as well. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.